off another big shopping day this morning. It's called Cyber Monday, and a whopping 85 million Americans are expected to log on and do some shopping today. Retailers are hoping huge sales will continue the momentum from higher than expected Black Friday sales. The holiday weekend actually brought in over 172 million shoppers. That was up from 147 million last year, with spending topping an estimated 41 billion dollars. But the buying spree was not without tragedy. A Walmart employee in Long Island was trampled to death, and two men shot and killed each other in a Southern California Toys R Us. Terrible stories, but while Cyber Monday may be far less dangerous for shoppers, will it bring profits to struggling retailers? Eric Best is the CEO of Mercent, and Jeff Green is the president and CEO of Jeff, Jeff Green Partners. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Good morning Alexis. Alexis. Jeff, happy Cyber Monday. What happened on Black Friday? We were all talking doom and gloom, and then I wake up yesterday morning, and it's like, wow, it wasn't that bad after all. No, it wasn't too bad in terms of traffic. However, boy, it'll be interesting to see if anybody made a profit. I've never seen so many uh, big screen TVs flying out the door. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it was all about those door busters and all these great incentives. I mean, is that what they did? Is the retailers went out there and said, look, we know it's going to be bleak, so we're going to get people in the store by offering them the most unbelievable deals possible? Oh, yes. I mean, if you took a look at exactly what people were buying, they were everything was on sale. Everything was deep discounted. And you didn't see a lot of full price merchandise among the people who were shopping. Eric, let me walk uh, through some scenarios with you because what you're, res well, first of all, just tell people what exactly is it that you do for the retailers in terms of getting their message out? Sure, you bet. It's very simple. Mercent helps retailers, folks like REI and Eddie Bauer, promote their product catalogs on Amazon, eBay, Google Product Search, Yahoo, and other leading online shopping destinations. And so in this climate, Eric, given what we saw over the past couple of days, which I think is a surprise to most expectations out there, what is it that you've been doing with retailers to make sure that they get their message out there, and are they happy thus far with the results? Well, this year, yeah, it's re the, really it's all about value shopping. Uh, consumers, shoppers have been trained to look for deals at this point, I think, given everything that's been uh, talked about on the news and uh, the retailers that are responding to that shopper, that, that deal hunter, uh, are the retailers that are going to be doing best. We've heard that 84% of all online retailers will be offering some sort of special price promotion today, Cyber Monday. And uh, one thing you may not know is that half of all e-commerce spending happens when folks are sitting at a web browser at their desk at work on the clock. Yeah, this, this is the day where you don't want to see your boss standing over your shoulder because they know what you're doing. You know, Jeff, Cyber Monday has had increasing expectations year over year, and this has been what's been at uh, least hoped to be one of the bright spots in this retail season. Tell me why. How important is today? Oh, today is very important for the cyber retailers. But, you know, taking a look at, at, what, at, at some of these sites over the weekend, you can see that these um, these uh, e-deals are also very very discounted so again we're going to see some high sales volume the question is whether anybody will be able to pull a profit yeah no that that's a great point and I, and I do want to go back Jeff for a second and, and explain to our viewers that you know when we're talking euphorically about Friday shoppers spend an average of three hundred and seventy two dollars and fifty seven cents this weekend that was up 7% from last year. And when we talk about estimates of $41 billion on Black Friday, I mean, we have basically exceeded everybody's expectations. But as you rightly have pointed out, it all comes down to how good the deal is. And at the end of the day, if the only way the retailer is going to get people in there with these deep discounts, are they going to have anything to show for it at the end of the season? Well, I think the, the real story is going to be in January and February when people uh, begin to announce their results. That's going to be the real story. And, and Eric, since this is what you do for a living, you tell me what kind of websites can I go to where I can find the best opportunities out there, the best deals on a day like today? You bet. Well, there's, there's a whole category of websites called comparison shopping sites or comparison shopping engines. 
And the leaders in that category tend to be sites like Nextag, Shopping.com, uh, Shopzilla, uh, and Pricegrabber.com. And uh, these, these sites effectively, uh, you know, stack up one retailer against another with special promotions. If you're buying online, you're not going to pay tax unless, of course, the merchant is in your state. But retailers are being very aggressive, particularly on these sites with free shipping offers. Uh, they're providing discount coupons, which you can find directly from the merchant or on sites like couponcabin.com. And we're seeing, of course, price discounts earlier in this holiday season than we've ever seen before. And Jeff, just before we go here, what are your expectations for the kind of dollars and cents that could be put to work today? And, and how much do you think that will be up versus last year? Well, I think that, that uh, as Black Friday was a great indicator uh, in terms of sales being up uh, 7%, I would say we're going to see the same 7% increase today also. Unbelievable. Wouldn't surprise me. Wow. All right, not bad. Yeah. I'm not sure what recession we're all living in, but um, but hey, if the retailers are happy, that's good for all of us. All right, guys, Jeff it's and Eric. It's all about value. <laughs> hey, that's right. All right.